Hi guys, my name is Valerie and I'm a real Prague guide. In one of our latest videos, we visited Vinogrady, according to Time Out magazine, one of the coolest neighborhoods in the world. It might be one of the coolest ones, but it's not very representative of Prague because only a small amount of people lives in Vinogrady. Where most people live would look something like this. So today we're visiting Yizhny Miesto. In this video, we're going to show you one of the strangest statues in Prague, a medieval structure in the midst of the communist neighborhood, and we'll bring you to the tallest panel house in the Czech Republic. Oh wait, what's a panel house? Panelak or panel house is a Czech and Slovak colloquial term for an apartment building made of pre-stressed concrete, typically built during the times of communism. According to 2017 statistics, 44% of people people who live in Prague live in panel houses. Overall, in the Czech Republic, there are 66,000 panel houses, where 2.7 million people live. That is close to 30% of the whole population. Yizhny Miesto, or South Town, is the largest panel housing estate in the Czech Republic, commonly referred to as Yizhniak or Yizhak. Around 80,000 people live in this part of the city today. The red metro line was extended to Yizhny Miesto to connect it with the rest of Prague. The three stops called Haye, originally Kosmonautu, Opatov and Hodov are the quickest way how to get there. We took a metro to Hodov stop and ended up in the homonymous shopping mall, which is the biggest mall in the Czech Republic. You might be thinking, Valerie, did you decide to go to the library? No, I decided to go to eat, of course. <laughs> it is very cleverly planned because it's a labyrinth of stores and restaurants where you immediately get lost. And while you're looking for an exit, you naturally get hungry and thirsty, your phone runs out of battery and your clothes turns into racks. But hey, hot of shopping mall has all you need. Restaurants, cafes, electronics and clothing stores. So your chances of leaving this place without spending any money are slim. But I get it, such a densely populated area has to have a monster large mall to supply all the households. But besides that, is there any other reason to visit Yizhny Miesto? Let's find out! Just imagine, guys, you're going home after a night in the pub and you see this. Yizhny Miesto is divided into two parts by D1 highway, the oldest highway in the former Czechoslovakia. It is 367 kilometers long road that connects Prague, Brno and Ostrava. And it's one of the busiest highways in the country. You literally need a bridge to cross it. This one reminded me of the Golden Gate Bridge, if I squint. Have you ever seen such beauty? Ah, oh, there is a monument right there. Crossing this bridge, I noticed this monument to the victims of car accidents that was installed here in 2006. It is standing near zero kilometer of the highway. Well, that was grim, but the inhabitants of Yizhny Miesto seem to be quite humorous people, judging by these writings on the ground. We've got a message for our former prime minister. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Another thing that proves that you have to have a sense of humor if you live here is the choice of art in Yizhny Miesto. Here you can find a statue of a prolific Czech sculptor David Cherny called London Booster. This art piece was created in 2012 for the Olympic Games in London. It's made of a real double-decker, except this one can do push-ups. But I guess its Olympic training days are in the past, because it only moves from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. on the days when the temperature doesn't drop below 5 degrees Celsius. London Booster looks a bit beat up, even though the buttocks are still impressive. Another thing that we've noticed is that the ass of the bus is directed at Anno which is one of the strongest political parties in the Czech Republic. And also, fun fact, ano in Spanish, yeah, in Spanish? In Spanish means anus. So do whatever you want with this information. If you want to find this interesting statue, we'll leave you address in the description. 
The next thing we saw was a contrast to the Vicerni statue, because it doesn't come from 2012, but it comes from 12th century. It is an originally Gothic fortress that was reconstructed in Baroque style. You can still see the Gothic portal that travelers in the Middle Ages would enter after crossing a small wooden bridge over the moat. Nowadays, this former fortress is used as a cultural center, and it's probably the oldest construction in Yizhny Miesto. Yizhny Miesto started to be built after Second World War to accommodate all the workers that started to arrive to the Czechoslovakian capital. Of course, the bright paint on the facades of the buildings was added relatively recently. The original buildings were not as colorful. That's better. But the developers weren't fast enough to finish the facilities in the new neighborhood, and first people who moved here basically lived on the construction site. They didn't even have any roads around their houses, just soil plowed by the trucks. This period became to be known as the time of boots and mud and was immortalized in the movie Panel Story. Today, around 80,000 Praguers live in Yizhny Miesto. And unlike similar housing estates in the other European countries, this one is still thriving. This place definitely has its own vibe going on. One of the coolest things we found there was this rock climbing spot with the outdoor and indoor boulders and walls for climbers. Czechs are exceptional rock climbers actually, so no wonder you can find such facilities even here in Yizhny Miesto. All these talking about exercises made me hungry. Alright, let's go back to our panel houses. Are you guys able to tell them apart or do they already look the same to you? This area is for sure very different to what most people see when they travel to Prague. And by the way, important to mention, we are not making this video to say, oh, you see, this is how Prague really looks like. No, we are just making this video to show you that Prague also looks like this. It can look like this. But it also looks like this. Yizhny Miesto is for sure not made for tourists. There are no public toilets, no info centers, and very few cafes and restaurants, besides the ones in the shopping mall. But they do have Central Park. Yep, just like in New York, Yizhny Miesto has its own park where locals come to chill. And it is really called Central Park, we did not make it up. Of course, instead of the Big Apple skyscrapers, you'll have Yizhny Miesto panel houses. Overall, I found Central Park cool. I like that you have these hills that you can climb, and I even found my favorite bench here. Ah. <sighs> So romantic, look at that. Good place for proposals. In the end of the park, we saw this nightmarish looking church, which turned out to be Mother Teresa's community center. But the most surprising construction was just across the road. It is the tallest panel house in the Czech Republic. A former hotel, Kupa was built somewhere in the 1980s and measures 81 meters. Actually, Kupa is two buildings that are connected at the top, so it was nicknamed Prague Twins. Yeah, this time the allusion to New York history isn't so positive. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked our today's video. We showed you a bit different part of Prague than we usually do. And we'll see you next week. Bye!